Hey everybody, Chris Serino here with Sultana Education Foundation's virtual classroom. Today I'm here on the Chester River and we're gonna do a test to see how much nitrogen is in the water. So what is nitrogen and why do we care how much nitrogen is in the water? To put it in layman's terms, nitrogen is a nutrient that's basically like plant food. A lot of nitrogen can be found in fertilizers we use on farm fields or on people's yards. And when nitrogen gets in the water, it can feed plants and specifically algae blooms. So when scientists measure how much nitrogen or nitrates are in the water, they do it using a measurement called parts per million. And it really doesn't take a lot of nitrogen to fuel plant growth. In fact, one part per million, one particle of nitrogen for every million particles of water is plenty to fuel algae growth, enough to support a diverse and healthy ecosystem. So when we have too many nit nitrates or too much nitrogen in the water, it can create excessive algae blooms. And what I'm gonna do here is a test using this really cool Lamott kit. I'm gonna fill this to the five milliliter line with my water sample here. And then Lamott's made it really easy. I'm just gonna add two tablets to this water and shake this up until they dissolve. And these will turn the water a shade of pink. So my first tablet has dissolved, and now I put a second tablet in the vial, close it up, I put it in this sleeve, I'm gonna shake it up, and I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes and we'll see what color we get when it emerges. So we've added our two test tablets to our water sample. We've shaken it up, they've dissolved, we've waited five minutes. You can see it, it didn't turn pink, which is good, it turned a, a lighter shade. And if you look at our color comparator slide here, if the clearer it is, the less nitrogen is in the water. So this is zero parts per million, and this is 15 parts per million. So to compare this most accurately, I'm gonna put this here in our color comparator here. I'll put my sample next to that coloration, and I compare the color here to the color here. And it looks like we're probably between one and two parts per million today. So why does this matter? When we have excessive amounts of nitrates or nitrogen in the water, it can fuel algae blooms. So you see here on the left, this is healthy water with just the right amount of nitrogen. There's a little bit of phytoplankton or algae. The sunlight reaches the bottom. You have these plants on the bottom giving oxygen off into the water. It's also great habitat. But when you have excessive amounts of nitrogen or also phosphorus, another nutrient, you get these algae blooms and they are almost like a green carpet over the top of the water. The reason that might not be a great thing for the Chesapeake Bay is twofold. One, the sun can no longer reach the bottom. The sun can't get through that algae and these plants die off. Well, the other thing that happens is that eventually the algae all dies off. And when all that decaying matter sinks to the bottom, bacteria work overtime. And what they do is they can suck up all the dissolved oxygen in the water really, really quickly. And when that happens, that can lead to fish kills. So to wrap up, nitrogen is a nutrient that feeds plants. We wanna have some nitrogen in the water, some nitrates, but not too much to negate those algae blooms. Uh, today we conducted a test. We learned that the parts per million was somewhere between one and two parts per million of nitrates in the Chester River. So looking ahead, what we wanna do is work with farmers to try to keep their nitrogen on their fields, to try to prevent our residents from over fertilizing their lawns, to make sure people with leaky septic systems aren't uh, are updating those septic systems so the nitrogen from your human waste isn't getting into the river and also upgrading sewage treatment plants is another great way to keep nitrogen levels as low as possible that's all for today's edition of our virtual classroom hope you'll join us here for more cool videos